Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with TypeScript and Angular. Our viewer asks, why can't I approach a TypeScript enum within my HTML? Let's break down the issue. Our viewer has created an enum called connection result in TypeScript, which they are using in both their service and component files. However, when trying to access this enum in their HTML with an NGF statement, they encounter an error that says cannot read property of undefined. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video. Cheers. Let's address the issue of using a TypeScript enum in your HTML template. First, we need to ensure that the enum is accessible in your component. Next, confirm that the enum is properly referenced in your component class. You should have a property that holds the result from your service. Now let's focus on the HTML part. When using the enum in your template, ensure that you reference it correctly from the component. If you still encounter the cannot read property of undefined error, it may be due to the result not being initialized before the template tries to access it. Finally, check that your service is returning the expected enum value. If the service call is asynchronous, consider using a subscription to handle the result. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To access a TypeScript enum in HTML, first define your enum in a service. Then, assign it to a variable in your TypeScript file. Finally, you can use it in your HTML with an NGF directive to check the enum value. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. You can bind TypeScript enums in HTML by defining them with string values. For example, if you define an enum with failure and success, you can check the status in your HTML using an if condition. Alternatively, you can use numeric enums. For instance, if you define failure as zero and success as one, you can reference these numbers directly in your HTML. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. Guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.